Cheers. Okay. Okay. It's uh, twelve fifty-nine. Good afternoon to everybody. I can see one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and we have uh, 11 in the Facebook Live. Uh, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si uh, eh, Brad Don Don naman dito sa People for Name Baptist Church. Uh, uh, we, we would just like to know if uh, you, have, you have taken already the <clears throat> Biblical Courtship and Marriage during the ABPI class. If you have taken it already, can you make a thumbs thumbs up? Aha. Uh -huh. Isa lang ang nakita kong nag thumbs up. Si uh, uh sorry ha, hindi ko kaya alam pangalan mo pero uh, I cannot see a name here pero if uh, if you have taken it it is a, a repeat uh, course but this time there are more uh, things added uh, <clears throat> because uh, during the the <clears throat> ABPI class it was cramped into just four days. Now we are going to take it uh, uh, a little bit in depth and uh, mas uh, tignan natin at namnamin ang uh, sinasabi ng uh, banal na kasulatan tungkol sa courtship and uh, marriage. And uh, <clears throat> You can still uh, join us, uh, hear about it, and then whatever whatever you have missed doon sa IBPI, uh, idagdag mo doon sa nakuha mo nung sa IBPI. And I believe na merong madaming na idagdag. So it's, it's, it's worthwhile na you are going to look into it just, just the same. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, for those uh, who are uh, joining for this uh, uh, biblical uh, marriage or biblical courtship, uh, welcome sa inyong lahat. And uh, may I know if uh, we have uh, somebody who does not uh, speak uh, Tagalog or ano, uh, so that uh, we can, uh, we will know if we're going to speak English all the way or we can do some Taglish quote. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, host natin, uh, do you know somebody who is uh, from other places like China or, or you uh, know? So I, I had a sign here that does not uh, that we don't have. So I already have a share screen here which says uh, marriage and courtship. You can interchange that biblical courtship and marriage. It's just the same. So. <clears throat> Once again, uh, <clears throat> good uh, afternoon to everybody. Our uh, <clears throat> purpose, our purpose for this uh, marriage and courtship, I don't know when it will end. Even if the COVID-19 will uh, disappear, if uh, God, uh, <clears throat> God, uh, God's grace, uh, we can continue this uh, uh, show or uh, this uh, endeavor. But uh, our purpose for uh, this uh, broadcast or this uh, <clears throat> endeavor is for us to be, uh, by the way, it's only every Friday, 1 to 
1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, let us learn and relearn the truth about biblical courtship and marriage to the end that we may be established. And I put uh, a uh, <clears throat> red uh, letter in the practice it so that uh, it uh, give more weight because uh, more often than not we are good in having knowledge, putting it all in our mind putting it all in our heart, but sometimes when it comes to practice and when it comes to application, we fail. So, uh, the, the end purpose is for us to be established and to practice it. Amen? Amen. So, of course, our ref reference will be the King James Bible. And if there are some other references that we are going to get, we'll mention it. But, most uh, it will all be the King James Bible. So <clears throat> let's uh, move on. Marriage and courtship. God. And if you're going to make your own design, you will be in trouble. So <clears throat> it's better that whatever is in the Bible. Courtship and marriage, marriage and courtship that is found in the Bible, it should be what we are going to follow. Okay, so, so we are going to look into the foundational topics, which is uh, the need for a standard, the worldly standard, the fall of mankind in Adam, dating, boyfriend and girl, girlfriend relationship, Courtship, single or married, which one do you want? Divorce and annulment, coverture, and uh, <clears throat> we have also who is uh, going to do the courtship or who, uh, the who of biblical courtship, the when of the biblical courtship, the where of biblical courtship, how, how do we do the biblical courtship? And uh, we will also give you a, a biblical model for courtship and uh, for uh, uh, biblical husband and uh, wife relationship, which may be uh, husband, love your wife, wife, wives, submit to your own husband, headship, expressing love, Admonition to husbands, admonition to the wife, uh, the incredible power of wife, submission, uh, wives merong apostrophe s dapat yon, wife, and many more as God's provide. Uh, so that's that's what we're going to tackle, and maybe whatever we can tackle this afternoon which I believe, I think maybe until the, f about the flesh, we will discuss more about the flesh because uh, we should not uh, take uh, lightly the flesh. So maybe if we can go up to that point for this afternoon, so be it. So <clears throat> we are going to read some, uh, uh, Bible uh, verses, maybe two, just to start up, and then let's pray. We have uh, <clears throat> Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. You may want to open your uh, Bible and uh, read it with me. And I'm going to read it because there are 17 who are <clears throat> following us on uh, Facebook Live. We have, uh, I, uh, all, it's now 25, so there are 25 following us on Facebook Live, so I will, get, I will read it. I will just depend on the share screen. So Genesis chapter 2, verse 25, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave to, unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. 
and also First Corinthians chapter seven, uh, verse First uh, Corinthians chapter seven, verse uh, one. Uh, Joanna, please. What happened to this? Now concerning the things were of uh, ye wrote unto me, It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Those are just two of the verses that uh, deals with uh, courtship and marriages. And uh, before we will continue, <clears throat> let's pray first. Heavenly Father, thank you po for giving us uh, time to discuss about courtship and marriage. Lord, uh, the devil is uh, <clears throat> doing his best to destroy marriage and homes. And uh, Lord, we do pray that uh, uh, marriages and uh, uh, homes will be established nowadays because it is the <clears throat> basic foundation of the church. Lord, uh, give us uh, wisdom, especially me, and uh, also those who are hearing this afternoon, hindi po sana sila makatulog, and that they will hear it uh, put in their mind and hearts. But most especially, Lord, they will practice it when the time comes that it needs to be practiced, or it needs to be applied. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your grace. Thank you for what you have done at the cross, uh, shedding your blood, buried, and rose again the third day. Thank you for uh, your faithfulness, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, <clears throat> I should have uh, uh, highlighted the, uh, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Because this is the verse that uh, more often than not, more often, it is not being obeyed by most churches here and even all over the world. They just uh, leave it. Oh, they do not. They not do. They do not put much uh, uh, point or weight on the last portion of uh, First Corinthians chapter seven, verse one, which is, "It is good for a man not to touch a woman." See. So, those are just the first two verses we are going to uh, put uh, or get some standards for marriage and courtship, then, uh, which we'll be discussing. Um, but uh, there are many more. Uh, we're dealing on the first portion of our meetings on, on, on courtship. Even if uh, our logo says marriage and courtship, we'll start first with courtship because before you're going to be married you have to court and as the Lord provides uh, wisdom and and if he he tarries longer meaning if he will not come and uh, <clears throat> rapture us and meet him in the air and be with him forever or if if we will not die tomorrow with uh, with this COVID-19 or after 14 days uh, we will, as the Lord provides, we will be dealing on merits after we are done with courtship. So, courtship first, and then on to marriage, and then after marriage, on to marriage, husband and wife relationship. So that will be our uh, <clears throat> that will be our uh, uh, roadmap guidelines. So. Uh, I have here God has a standard and design that is be a standard in courtship. There should be a standard in marriage. There should be a standard in husband and wife relationship. So we'll take up standards. The standard. What is what is standard? 
that we're going to take up today and uh, we will uh, uh, ask the help of uh, of uh, Webster 1828 uh, why do we use the Webster 1828 because it is the dictionary that uh, is closer to the definitions of uh, the Bible in the King James 1611 and if you are going to look at it uh, I, I, I suggest that you are going to that you use that also put an app on your cell phone or on your <clears throat> iPad or in your uh, 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 laptop so that uh, now and then you use that to to help you in understanding the American uh, or uh, the English uh, language and uh, you would be surprised that there are some verses included in that uh, <clears throat> in that uh, dictionary which was removed if you are going to use the the Merriam Webster the latest one this uh, Webster is Noah Noah Webster 1828 so what is a standard? Look at it. That's which is established as a role model by the authority of public opinion. I underlined the public opinion. I also, uh, I, I also underlined or by respectable opinions or by customs or by general consent. We must realize, mga kapatid, uh, we must realize that as we come of age, someone or something, a group or a philosophy or anybody is going to set a standard or even they will destroy the standard or even they will not put no standard at all in, in uh, anything. But most especially, we're dealing with the uh, courtship, so we'll put directly in dealing with the opposite sex or oh, babae sa lalaki this uh, this uh, definition says it is by the authority of public opinion public opinion it means whatever the public opines it becomes the standard okay it also implies that whatever they do as a whole is the standard. What, what is trending in the internet, what is trending in the YouTube, what is trending in the Twitter, what is trending in the text, uh, in, in, in other, uh, what they call these uh, instruments that we use in the internet, what is trending there, that will become the standard. So that is what we call authority of public opinion. How about uh, the by respectable opinion? Respectable opinion meaning anything that is said by a respectable person, it becomes the standard. So anything that is said by Dr. Jose Rizal is the standard. Because he is a respectable person. Anything said by Plato, by Socrates, by Aristotle, Mao Chitong, William James, or even, even President Rodrigo Duterte, because they are respectable person, may, as they call it, they are honorable uh, uh, congressman and, and, and uh, senator. It becomes the standard because they are respectable people. And uh, I would like to say something about that, uh, mga kapatid. God does not give a damn on uh, my opinion. God does not give a damn on the opinion of this respect, respectable people. Does not, it does not. What matters is God's opinion. Amen. If you do not like that, if you do not like that statement, take it up with God. There is always three sides in any argument. 
three sides of opinions in any argument. Your opinion, my opinion, and God's opinion. <clears throat> and since I got saved, I discarded my opinion. I always aligned it with the opinion of God. And where will I get that opinion? It's all written in the book, the King James 1611. See? Respectable opinions. Uh, let me go back to history. This man by the name of Joseph Goebbels. His complete name is uh, Paul Joseph Goebbels, a German Nazi politician who was the propaganda minister for Adolf Hitler in 1940, early 1940s uh, during the war and uh, the World War II. And he is now called uh, Dr. Goebbels by historians. Now he sounds respectable. See, Dr. Goebbels. He opined that if you tell a lie a hundred times, it becomes the truth. He followed it up by saying, a lie told once remains a lie, but a lie told a thousand times becomes the truth. If it becomes the truth, then it follows that it becomes the standard. A lie is a lie even if it is told a trillion, trillion or billion times. Conversely, truth is truth regardless of how respectable one is giving the opinion. John 14, 6 says that I am the truth. I am the way, the truth. See, Jesus Christ, John. He is the truth. See? One thing more. Truth is no longer, no longer truth if it is... Uh, uh, if, if you add 5% of... Uh, false in it what what i mean is 95 percent truth five percent untruth it's no longer truth it should be if truth is truth it must be 100 percent truth or even 105 percent truth when when the rat killer manufacturer uh, manufacturer, the rat killer manufacturer, made the food to kill rats. They, they, uh, they uh, made the food so deceptive that 95% uh, of it is good, pure, and true food. Yung 95% na yun, pwede mong kain. Kahit na rat food yun. And only 5% of it, ginawa nilang 5% of it yung poison. So that when the rat comes, they think it is good food. And then they say, look, it's the same food that I've been eating. Kain sila. Parang tama naman. So kung may nag, nag, uh, nagbigay sa'yo ng, ng uh, something na, na galing sa Bible at... Uh, uh, mukhang tama pero 5% of it is wrong aha hindi rin katotohanan yun kapatid so itong mga rats na ito kinain nila ng kinain yung food and after a while they they die so the truth is it should be 100% it, it should not be added no, no percentages of it should be added 5% of untruth is already apostatizing. So, our standards, if it, is, it is, if it is by respectable opinions, those opinions are more often than not, it's not only 5%, but maybe 10%, 15% apostatized already. So, Mahirap na ang, ang standard natin na ibabasi natin sa opinions ng mga respectable people. By customs. By customs or culture. See? Nandyan pa tayo sa definition. By customs or culture. 
customs tradition are, are, are not uh, parallel to what the Bible says. Actually, it is it is contradictory to what the Bible says, especially before the Bible times. Ako, ako, igurut ako, eh, ang kultura doon sa, sa bundok, iba, iba sa kultura na gustong i, 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 iba sa Bible culture. So, ibig sabihin, ang customs and traditions, it should not be the basis for our standard. Uh, <clears throat> kahit na na-introduce na yung Bible sa kanila, sa, sa atin, na-introduce na yung Bible sa, sa lahat ng tao, they still follow the customs and cultures and traditions in in doing things like marriage and courtship you we we should we should uh, during this uh, new testament time we should follow the bible what it, it introduced dapat yun ang sundin natin it should not be the culture it should not be the customs that must be followed because uh, customs and traditions naga apostasize yan eh naga apostasize let let it be understood that truth is truth even if it will cross borders na maggaling manggaling kahit manggaling diyan sa bagyo ang 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 ano ang bible manggaling sa uh, bisaya mang sa ano uh, i-cross mo ang region 1 region 2 region 3 dapat uh, uh, hindi nagbabago ang ibig sabihin ng banal na kasulatan in in like manner it is also true it from where the bible was written it crossed to to us the same principle should be followed whatever is said about courtship and marriage in england it crossed borders to go to the east it should be same. even if it crossed borders it should be the same it crossed to canada it crossed to australia to japan to 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 china to to New Zealand and then on it must be the same even in the customs and tradition of any country amen it should be what the bible says okay by general consent what the world consent is to be the standard kung ano yung standard sa sa ibang bansa dahil popular sila na bansa yun ang gagawin natin eh, eh paano paano ngayon kung susundin natin ang Amerika eh, maraming live in doon eh hindi pa nga sila nag-aasawa may anak na tatlo apat lima na ang anak hindi pa rin nag-aasawa hindi tama yun uh, whatever they do there we should not be it should not be it it, it should the standards standard of our court marriage should not be dictated by general consent said it for those who, who 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 yung nag ano ba ng trend gaya ng United States or European countries it should be oh, live in live in yan hindi hindi tama yan ay because uh, because they are being deceived what uh, the public opinion respectable opinions and and trains trends and fashions and uh, other other uh, countries that uh, they follow uh, yun ang ginagawa nilang standard so <clears throat> hindi tama yun mga kapatid there are standards everything but often than not they erode as times goes by they apostatize and become very low if we base our standard on the first definition, which is by authority of public opinion, by respectable opinions, by customs, by general consent. So we have here another definition which is more appropriate. That which is established by sovereign power as a rule or measure by which others are to be adjusted. Sovereign power, huh? Ang ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, ng sovereign power means supreme in power. That is God. Oh? Possessing supreme dominion as in God is the sovereign ruler of the universe. Dapat yan ang basihan natin ng standard. Sapagkat, uh, sapagkat uh, ang sabi ng Diyos sa kanyang banakasulatan, 
I am the same yesterday, I will be the same today, and I will be the same forever. Hindi nagbabago yan. So, kung what is the standard before, it should be the standard today, and it will be a standard in the future. Okay? So, <clears throat> mga kapatid, if we are going to have a standard, if we are going to have a standard, they might as well be God's standard. The King James 1611 Bible it, perfect, it perfectly matches the second definition. We adopted it as our standard and final authority in all matters of faith and practice, including courtship and marriage. So, ganun po mga kapatid. Dapat ibasi natin sa Bible, King James 16.11. Huwag magbasi doon sa ibang ano kasi we nutter down na nila yung ano, yung yung uh, yung uh, yung anong tawag nito yung new international version NIV na yan ay tatang ta tinanggal yung effeminate uh, tinang I'm not sure but but uh, maraming tinatanggal para mawala yung yung uh, yung mga uh, standard na na set ng Bible about marriage or courtship between a man and a woman. So, napakaliwanag yun mga kapatid na ang magko-courtship ay man and a woman, hindi man and a man. So, if you go to other Bibles, tinatanggal nila yun para, para ma-accommodate yung, yung standard na pinapairal nila ngayon na ang, as, ang lalaki, pwede mag-asawa ng lalaki. Don't go to other Bibles. Even the New King James Bible. The New King James Bible, it seems to be the same with the King James. But, il is ilagay natin kanina na sinabi ko, there is 5% na wrong. 5% na nag-apostasize sa Bible na yun. It looks like the same, but it is not the same. It apostasized already. Okay? So, a standard, a standard, does not mean na uh, a legalistic uh, system or a social straight jacket na yung bang ikukulong ka na para hindi ka makagalaw na ganun hindi uh, it is not a system of of law or authority that will constrict movements or action but actually it is a system na pag sinunod mo yon you will enjoy the fullest blessed of God concerning courtship and marriage. So, yun po, hindi yung, yung legalistic na na kaya kailangan may standard, hindi ganun. Yun ay, lalagyan ka ng, uh, ng na fence to guide you so that you will not go to the left and to the right so that you will enjoy the blessing of courtship. The fullest uh, blessing na bibigay ng Diyos tungkol sa courtship and marriage. Without any guilty feeling, without the fear, and without being afraid of what the results of your actions may be. Yun po ang gagawin ng standard. Okay? So, so <clears throat> ang standard po ay, ay maganda yan. Hindi natin kalaban yan. It is a set of moral and social guidelines that we should go by especially na tinatawag natin tayo ay kristyano dapat sundin natin yan mga kapatid when you go out socially or romantically with someone especially yung mga lalaki babae na magkukorship na there must be a set of moral and social guidelines that must guide your conduct para Iba yan, ibang iba yan kaysa sa conduct ng mga hindi kristyano. And we're going to take that up much later in, in, in a more, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, detailed uh, fashion. Everyone has standards. Uh, maaring high yan, maaring medium, maaring very low, maaring napaka, baka wala nga eh. But uh, if there is a standard before, it 100% nag-apostasize na yan. So, dapat 
ang ating paglalagyan ng standard natin ay ang banal na kasulatan. Amen? So, let's uh, take up now worldly standard. Ano, ano, ano ang worldly standard? So, uh, worldly standard ay something worldly standard ay uh, something na excuse me for a while meron basta na lang nag-on yung aking uh, what do you call this uh, songs in my laptop so whenever it pops out I'm sorry for that so worldly standard Ano ba yung worldly standard? When something is not of God, huh? when something is not, that is, it is not approved in the Bible by, by word, by word, by principle, or example, it is of the world, therefore, it is either of the flesh or the devil. Okay, so worldly standard. Uh, I'm going to share again the screen. Kasi nawala. Okay, when something is, uh, as I've said a while ago, when, uh, when something is not of God, Ayaw. Yan. Okay. When something is not of God, that is, it is not approved in the Bible by word, principle, and example, it is of the world. World, huh? W-O-R-L-D. At nilakihan ko pa. It is either of the flesh or the devil. So, uh, we will... Uh, Follow that up with uh, uh, defining the word as in Second Corinthians four four four. Second Second Corinthians four four kasi may ginamit yan na na uh, word. Second uh, Corinthians four four basahin natin para ano? Second Corinthians four four. If you are going to open your Bible, it says there. In whom the God of this world, see, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. So, kinuha lang natin mga kapatid yung word, word, word na sinabi dyan sa Ephesians 4.4 4, In whom the God of this world So there is a God of this world And this world is the fallen social system na governed by si Satan sa, kay Satanas po yan So ngayong panahon na ito ay nagahari po yung ang, uh, ang Satanas at uh, meron siyang sistema and this is the world system na tinatawag so, makita nyo dyan na, eh, na emphasize yung world dyan, colored red. World is the fallen social system governed by Satan, the God of this world. Oh, kagaya ng binasa natin. In whom the God of this world again ah, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. So, uh, yan po mga patid. And uh, we can follow that up with uh, with uh, <clears throat> the one in First uh, John two fifteen to sixteen. Love not the world, oh, see. Neither the things that are in the world. Oh, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Verse uh, sixteen. So that is in First John chapter two, verse fifteen sixteen. Para sa mga nakikinig sa, sa Facebook Live, I'm sorry I did not mention it earlier. It's 1 John chapter 2, 15 to 16. 
So, ilang beses dyan ang minention yung world 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in verse 15 and 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So, yun po ang kung, uh, kung mag-define tayo ng, ng, ng uh, isang bagay, mas magandang ang definition ng banal na kasulatan ang ating titignan. So, yun po ang ang word. So, kung dadagdag na, dagdagan natin ng L-Y, magiging wordly. So, anything na 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 wala dun sa definition na yan, wordly yan. Okay? We will discuss ngayon, what is wordly? Okay? What is wordly? Ah, uh, <clears throat> Ang uh, wordly po, ay, uh, letter A, is that which is sinful. Lahat ng bagay na sinful, anything that does not glorify God, that is wordly. That which breaks the commandments of God, wordly yan. Okay? So, think of anything, excuse me, think of anything that breaks the commands of God, that is wordly. Mas mataas pa in a higher pedestal is think of something that does not glorify God that is worldly. B. Worldly is that which is satanic or evil such as worldly music. Oh. <clears throat> rock music. Ano mga alam ninyo na rock music? What are rock music? Yung bang... Uh, if I remember right, which I, I do, yan yung mga tugtugin ng mga mga <clears throat> mga musicians na mahahaba ang buhok at uh, maraming tattoo sa katawan at pag umawit sila ay nakaalis ang damit at uh, more often than not ay pag umawit sila ay high sila sa sa drug, heroin, shabu, kung ano-ano man yan. At hindi sila makaawit ng maayos kung hindi nila, hindi sila high. I wish uh, you understand that, yung ibig kong sabihin. Mga lulong sa, mga lulong sa, sa drugs. At uh, makikita ninyo na ang mga, ang mga awitin nila ay, ay dedicated sa, uh, kay Satan. And they, they, they use many satanic symbol and signs. Uh, eh, paano kung hindi, eh, paano kung hindi naman, ano, hindi, hindi, rock music? O anong, anong example mo? My way? Uh, alam ko yan, sapagkat inaawit ko din yan noon. Kahit na sinabi kong ligtas ako, pero hindi pala ako ligtas noon. Awit ko yan, my way. Oh, hindi naman rock yan. But it is a song that perpetuates human capacity to do all things. Oh, marunong ba? Alam ba ninyo yung my way? Oh. Nakalimutan ko na eh. Tanda na tayo eh. Paano bang lyrics ng my way? And now, and now the, the, end is the end is near. And so I, I face the final curtain. Eh, ano pa? Uh, and... <laughs> And pinaka, pinaka ano doon is, and uh, more, uh, and, and I did it my way. No one did it for me, but I did it my way. Yun ang nandun yun. At ang pinaka masama pa na, na, na isinama niya doon, doon sa pinaka last portion ng kanyang, ng kanyang awitin na yan, kung sino mang sumulat niyan, ay, uh, ito, sinulat ko dito, it despises people who are praying. Ang, ang nakalagay doon sa kanyang ano ay last stanza ay for what is a man what has he got if not himself then he has not to say the things he truly feels and not the words of one who kneels kita nyo yan awit kayo ng awit ng one my way it is a shot at people who are kneeling down asking God for guidance, for protection, and for leading, and for wisdom. 
May way yan, ha? It is a shot at, at the existence of God and perpetuating the humanistic view na, na the, the, creator is, the creature is more important and more capable than the creature. May capable ka, ha? To prove my point, I counted. Sinerts ko yung... yung Yung my way na yan. And then I counted how many times the personal pronoun me and I was mentioned in that song. I counted 36 times. 10 me and 26 I. See? Anong ibig mong sabihin? Does that glorify God? Does that perpetuate the... the, the, the it does not break the commandment of God, but does that glorify God? You mentioned... 26 times about you, 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 me, me, me. Si Lucifer nga sa Isaiah 14, 13 to, 4, 13 to 14, it only took five times to mention I. And he was condemned already. Ikaw pa, kakawitin mo. My way, I, 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 me, me, me. Oh. Di ako galit mga kapatid. But that is worldly. Anything that does not mga young people na na nakikinig pa sa mga worldly music na hindi music ng ng ating Panginoon. This is a warning to you. Hindi yan tama. You are glorifying somebody which is not God. You're glorifying my yourself if you are going to sing my way. How about how about uh how about uh uh, uh, it's, uh, love songs Anong love songs? Maghanap ka ng love songs At tignan mo yung lyrics Maghanap ka ng love songs Tignan mo yung lyrics Puro It's all about Lust It's all about If you sing If you sing the first stanza Man and man, nagkakaharap. And then, the second stanza will come in, the man removing the dress of the woman. And the last stanza, you know what I mean. May isip na kayo. Diba? So, ganun ang love song ng mundo. Look at the lyrics. Humanistic songs, eh, diniscuss na natin, my way. How about new age uh, music? New age music, yun yung mga music ng mga ano, music na na para sa relaxation daw, sa optimism, para sa artistic inspiration. Pero yun ay para sa may, yung para mag-yoga ka, mag, uh, mag-meditate ka about, uh, about humanistic things for ecstasy. Huh? So, hindi po tama mga kapatid Wordly po yan Wordly So, yan po ang wordly And also, drugs Drugs, occults uh, Alam na ninyo yung drugs Yung occults naman ay Yung tungkol sa mga Mga witchcraft, sorcery, necromancy Magic, uh, supernaturalism Ano pa, wizardry And uh, <clears throat> Uh, basta related sa devilian o occult na yan uh, the worship of uh, budu hudu witchcraft mysticism and the like yan po yung occult so that is worldly mga kapatid worldly po yan ang next one mga kapatid is uh, another, another meaning of worldly is uh, letter C which is uh, uh, anything that is sensual. Red letter yung sensual na yan. Ha? So, makita nyo, makita nyo puro, puro S nagsimula yung wordly. Ano? Letter A, sinful. Letter B, sa satanic. Letter C, sensual. See? That which stimulates or tiltilates or inflames the flesh. 
yan po ay worldly mga kapatid. So kung gumagawa ka ng mga bagay that is tiltilates the flesh, tiltilates or inflames the, the flesh, worldly yan. Panunood ng mga pornographic materials, worldly yan. Pagbabasa ng mga materials na Barnes and Noble na na isinulat niya yung ginagawa ng ng napapanood mo din sa 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 pornographic film, worldly yan mga kapatid. Uh, don't wag ka sana magalit na sabihin ko yan sa inyo mga kapatid, lalo, lalo na yung mga young people but that is worldly. And this includes many dating act discuss natin yan, dating, dating na yan. Sapagkat sasabihin ko na yung mga dating activities na yan, it includes kissing, touching, which is the forerunner of sex, uh, petting, uh, sex with uh, your clothes on, or dancing. O, dito nung BPI, sinabi ko ito sa, sa, sa kanila noon, ang dancing is, is uh, sex with your clothes on. Standing up. Sabi ko noon sa inyo, sa kanila, sasabihin ko rin ngayon, ang dancing is the vertical expression of the horizontal desire legalized by music. Ganun po ang dance. Nakikipag-sex ka na nakatayo. Na may damit ka. That is dancing. Kaya ang kristyano, labas ka na sa pakikipag-dancing. Hindi na, hindi na yan Hindi na yan. That is a worldly activity. Junior, senior prom. Hawakan mo ang isang lalaki. Lalagay mo ang kamay mo sa taas ng balikat. Ang lalaki naman, hawakan yung balikat. That is a prelude. Hindi lang nila sinasabi yun. Pero sa Bible, prelude to ano yun. That is already sex with your own, with your clothes on, standing up. It also includes how you dress. Certain dress and hairstyles are sensual because they make the sexual statement and stimulates the flesh. Kami po, mga lalaki, kahit naligtas kami, mga kapatid, kung ang pagdadamit mo ay, ay something, mga Christian young, young ladies, kung ang pagdadamit natin ay nakaka-attract na yung, yung curvature ng inyong katawan ay bakat na bakat sa inyong damit, mapapalingon din kami. Lalaki kami, hindi naman kami bakla eh. Lalaki kami, mga kapatid. Kaya, kaya yun yung isang kasalanan ni, ni Batsiba. Bakit siya, bakit, bakit siya naligo sa isang lugar na walang takip, ang, walang bubong? Oh, see? Nakita siya ngayon ni David. Eh si David, akala mo ba, kahit na spiritual giant si David, ginagamit siya ng Diyos. Higanti siya na ano? Higanti siya na, na, na representation ng isang kristyano. Pero nahulog pa rin. Kaya mga kapatid, kung magdamit kayo mga kristyano, young, young ladies, young Christians, magdamit kayo, hindi yung, hindi yung mapapansin ng mga kalalakihan na katulad namin. Kaya ang ginagawa ko sa aking mga anak, aking mga asawa, tumarap ka muna doon sa salamin bago tayo lumabas. Ano sa tingin mo? Does it shows your curves? If, if it shows your clothes, then you change your clothes. Okay? Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng pagdadamit mo, kapatid, ay it, it is at, sa, parang sinasabi mo sa isang lalaki na you try me. Apoy ako. Oh, ganun yan. And, and there a subtle offer of sex. Ganyan ang ginagawa ng mga, mga babae na lumilipad na mababang lipad. Ang kaya ang iiksi. Because it is a way of uh, offering sex. It's a way of saying, I am, I am, I am uh, uh, ready. You can get me. Ganun yun. So whatever you are going to use, you are going to dress, it, it is an offer. Mind you, mga lalaki, ganun din. Pag inalis mo yung damit mo, nagsando ka lang, tapos nandiyan ka sa harapan ng mga babae. Akala mo ba, hindi sinisilip ng mga babae yan? Sinisilip din nila yan. Because they are, they they were created to to look upon men, and 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 tayo naman mga lalaki, we were created to look upon women. Sinadya ng panginoon yun para ang magtagpo talaga babae at sa lalaki, hindi yung 
Hindi ang magtagpo lalaki sa lalaki. So, be careful na magdamit tayo ng mga na sensual sensual na pagdadamit sapagkat worldly yan mga kapatid letter C that is worldly and and letter D uh, nasa word worldly pa lang tayo mga kapatid no so worldly letter D is one one that is uh, uh, <clears throat> selfish so ang ang una natin ay, ay sinful one is sinful and the other one is satanic and the other one now letter C is sensual and uh, letter D is is uh, one that is selfish one that is selfish bakit tinawag na selfish sapagkat uh, pagka example na example na lang natin gawin uh, meron isang kristiyano uh, uh, ga in-invite mo siya tapos uh, nagkalimot kayong dalawa nag nagpatuloy kayo hanggang sa ang ang term doon ng mundo ay eh, nag all the way kayo ibig sabihin nagkaroon kayo ng sex hindi ninyo na kasi hindi mo yan hindi mo yan mapipigilan pag nandun na eh we will discuss that when when it comes to flesh but now ang sinasabi ko is is it is selfish to use someone Ha? Kung lalaki ka, if you're going to use babae to gratify yourself, if you are babae and then you use someone to gratify yourself, your your sexual desire, you gratify yourself, that is selfish. It is worldly and it dishonors God, it dishonors your family, it dishonors your church just to enjoy some sexual pleasure that is worldly that is selfish hindi po tama yan mga kapatid so so sinabihan na ako ng aking host na magta time na so we will continue next Friday so what is important mga kapatid is we have defined what is worldly Huwag po tayo maging worldly, mga kapatid. Na-define natin sa sa John uh, 1 John uh, uh, Alisin ko na yung ano ha, stop share natin para ano para makausap ko na kayo. So, we were able to define Uh, worldly and uh, at at nakita natin diyan sa <clears throat> sa first uh, Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 uh, and also we have found it in uh, in uh, uh, first John uh, 2:15 to 16 ang ibig sabihin ng Biblia kung ano yung worldly So, if there is one thing that we have learned this afternoon, sana ang Kristiyano ay hindi maging worldly pagkat hindi po yon magdang testimony ng isang isang uh, <coughs> Kristiyano. So, with that, we will be uh, we'll be discussing next meeting yung kadugtong ng worldly standard na yan. At ipapakita natin, mga kapatid, kung bakit hindi natin Uh, hindi natin uh, maging kristyano tayo, hindi tayo maging worldly so ladies and gentlemen, salamat po sa inyo sa mga, sa mga nakinig sa face, uh, Facebook I, I, I was told that more than 30 ang nakinig thank you very much so uh, dito naman sa Zoom sa Zoom naman, I, I can see some uh, uh, many participants sa uh, 23. I can see 23 participants. Participants, Thank you. Sana hindi po tayo maging worldly. Kristiyano po tayo. We should obey things that uh, glorify. We should do things that glorify the Lord. So, let's pray and uh, we'll continue next uh, Friday. Lord, we thank you very much for giving us this time. Help us, O Lord, not to be worldly. 
Help us, O Lord, to do things na which will glorify you. Thank you very much and thank you for giving us wisdom. May we help us to do it in apply, apply it in our lives, O Lord. This we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. See you Friday. Thank you. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat.